Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter into the cage from Gloucester, England, Carl Suwabi! Welcome into the cage, his opponent from County Cart, Wales, Tom Karpinski! in the amateur featherweight division. And in the blue corner with a regular two wins and no defeats, he stands in a five foot seven and weighs in 145 pounds. From Gloucester, England, Carl Suwabi. And his opponent fights at the red corner, the regular four wins and three defeats. He stands in a five foot eight and weighs in 143.8 pounds. From Carlty Cart in Wales, Tom Karpinski! Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Simon Small. And we're back here at the Cage Warriors Amateur Academy. Cage Warriors 76 in Newport, Wales. One, Featherweight ready? action now, unified ready? amateur rules, Fight. three three-minute rounds if they need them. Carl Swarby in the grey shorts taking on Tom Karpinski in the black with red trim and Ian. I've been told to keep an eye on Carl Swarby. A lot of hype about this young man on the amateur circuit at the moment here in the UK. Yeah, coming off uh, a KO win. Uh, always hard to say, again, as uh, we said before, just how many fights these guys have actually had. 
but yeah, it definitely looks aggressive. Coming from a great uh, striking uh, team as well in Trojan. They've uh, produced some dynamite fighters in the past. Great jab there as well. Oh, beautiful straight kick. Just took Kapinski off balance with that one. Looking very confident right now, Swabi. As you say, coming from that uh, strong pedigree at Trojan, of course, he's got Paul Sutherland in his corner, Ronnie Iron Man, another standout of the UK scene. Sutherland, a former champion here at Cage Warriors himself. Yeah, a long time ago. Uh, I'm sure he, uh, he'll probably not like us saying that either. Uh, so sorry about that, Paul. But yeah, you know, again, look, a, a, a very confident stance. But um, Kapinski, not to be underrated, um, coming off two wins himself. Uh, one of them was uh, a TKO. Um, here in Wales, so just, just needs a little time just to go and find his rhythm. But again, a great counter shot right there by Swabi. Really sat his man down with that shot. But remaining patient is Swabi. And again, a, another unorthodox kick. This really is the night for him. Oh, huge spin back kick. Look at Swabi. Looking to swarm his man now. Kapinski's high, going for the shoot, just leaving himself more open. And he done well to survive that. S still 70 seconds left in the round. Swabi just looking really confident right now. Stalking down his prey. And we've seen so many guys in similar situations previously where they just put their foot on the gas in those, in those moments, got caught up in the atmosphere of it all. But very, very patient is Swabi. He's picking his shots. He knows he's got plenty of time left in this fight. Definitely, and you know, he's loading up that right leg as well. You know, very confident with his movement now, leaving the hands down, using that head movement to protect himself. Sweeping left hooks. Yeah, he's just, you know, just letting Kapinski know that he's bossing him right now. Look at his face, very composed. Again, it, just taunting with a stance, great left again, catches him. He certainly does have the speed to keep those hands by his side. Does snap them up for a counter shot when he needs to. Does need to be careful though, he's leaving himself very open. He's swooping right. Kapinski though taking it. Charging forward, but just looking a little bit reckless when he does go forward. And he has been sat down a couple of times in that round of Tom Kapinski. Yeah, no doubt. We're going to see it right now in the replay, Brad. Very, very stiff, accurate shots there. Beautiful push kick to the chest. Just took his man off balance. And he is going from all angles in. Yeah, definitely. Just letting him know he's there. Getting the hands down. Great left. Throws him again. And that fantastic spinning back kick, way on the button. And to, to be fair, give Kopinski credit. He's done really well to survive that with so much time left on the clock. And towards the end, you know, he, he didn't seem phased either. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. How Richard Shaw in uh, Kopinski's corner is going to uh, get a, uh, a plan now to kind of negate uh, Suave's obviously much more advanced striking attack. That's going to be interesting to see as we I'm enter two, the ready. second round. Two, if Swabi can't put him away early on, how's that going to affect Swabi's mentality? Right now, I don't think it will. I, the only thing I, I would worry about if I was Swabi or his team is his hands are very, very, very low. And, you know, if he does go in and he misses and he gets countered, he could be in trouble, Brad. Nice kick there, just a couple of inches shy from Tom Kopinski. Yeah, just let, letting Swabi know he's there. With a axe kick there. From Swarby. Yeah, definitely showing a traditional martial arts background, um, but keeping uh, Kapinski on the back foot. But again, Kapinski done well after that, after the first round. Doesn't look phased. Blocking two shots right there. Swarby not really making much impression with that, with that attack. I really like how Swarby looks like he's loading the leg up, but then he'll come in one of those sweeping hooks. Very, very unorthodox striking technique here from Cole Swarby. He really has done a great job of keeping his man guessing. Yeah, definitely. He's looking like he's going to like load up the right, uh, the right leg, but like he's throwing so much offense with the left as well. Spinning back fist, not really. Just feeling him out. He left it. He left it open there. Kapinski, though, Brad. This could be it. This could be his chance to try and make an impression. 
He was able to stop the initial entry, and I suppose that is one of the advantages of keeping those hands low. You can sprawl and block that initial takedown entry. Yeah, he's definitely, you know, he's, sh he's showing uh, more side to his game right now. Okay, a nice push kick to the chest. Great to keep distance, can also disrupt the breathing, and if you catch it just right, you can win your man. Definitely. As the fight wears on, that becomes more and more important as the gas tank runs ever emptier. Yeah, I mean, any body shots in MMA rarely use whether they be kicks or punches, but when they're used right, they're devastating. As we've seen in Pedro's before, Kapinski there tried to attack, almost got countered. Nice combination, very fast hands there from Carl Swarby. Again, looking to go to the body there with the right. Very, very happy corner from the Gloucester man. Yeah, definitely controlling the action. Keep making Kapinski think. Good to see him go forward, he caught the kick. But again, I think Kapinski's got to do something. He just can't keep backpedaling and letting Swabi come in and, and throw these sort of combinations. But it must be so frustrating for Kapinski, Brad. Absolutely, every time he has tried to move forward, he's been on the end of a stiff counter. Some movement, some head movement there by Kapinski. It's good to see. He's not counting himself out. Good to see him move forward. Didn't really connect where he wanted to connect either. Hey. A low blow there, accidental, but Hassel Warby says, not a problem, let's carry on. Final three seconds on the round. And another big frame there for Carlson Warby. Really did put a stamp on that one, as he did in the first. More of the same, really. And yeah, and it's great, it's great to watch. You know, maybe a little too flashy. We're Let's have a look at some of the action from the second round now. That's a beautiful sweeping hook. Kick to the body on the end of it from Carl Swarby. But Kapitsky again saw, saw that come in, went to attack himself, and even the opening two kicks really didn't connect. So, you know, some good work there by Kapitsky. But as you see again, the push kick there landed. And there was a nice left hand there from Tom Kapinski, but really the story of this fight was just the counter shots, the aggressive, high output striking from Carl Swarby. And it's not necessarily that Kapinski is doing anything wrong, Ian, it's just that Carl Swarby is doing it a little bit better at this point in the fight. Yeah, and, and his confidence is growing. And he knows, he knows now that, um, what, what's Kapinski going to do? He's either going to um, three, round three, ready. Sit back, and then he's just going to sit there and taunt him with these kicks. And if he does go forward, he knows he's probably two rounds up, and um, yeah, he, he could hit him with the counter. So it'll be interesting. I'd like to see Kapinski try and do something. <laughs> Although against this, uh, you know, some great striking attack here by Cole Swabia, I'm not quite sure what. Well, it's going to be boom or bust, really, for Tom Kapinski here in this third round. He's comfortably behind. Oh, beautiful little hook kick there from Cole Swabby. And it'll be interesting to see, and if... Swarby, knowing that he's got a couple of rounds in the bank, maybe does go and put his foot down on the gas and does take a few extra risks here and look for the finish. He might well do, but I think someone like uh, Swarby is so fluid, he's just going to go and uh, see what's there and, uh, and see what pops up, you know. Straight away, no real change, nice little jab, just let him uh, Kapinski know he's there. Just keeping Kapinski on the back foot. And even then, you know, he... He telegraphed that move. He saw Kapinski coming forward. He's so quick on his feet. And that stance as well, which allows him to move out of the way. It just gives him that extra half second. See the difference in the boxing guard of both these fighters. And Kapinski, he's very high and tight, keeping the hands very close to the chin. You've got to think that's probably because he's been countered so many times in this fight. It's perhaps making him a little bit gun shy with the strikes. Spinning backwards there from Suwabi. Yeah, but the problem is, every time he goes back, it just allows Swabi to load up try some, and, and try something else. Uh, but then, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe Kapinski should try a, a level change again, try and go down, try and take him down, uh, because all of the minute, he's just allowing himself really to be picked off. Swabi trying to fake his man out there, spinning back kick to the body. So much in the arsenal. Chasing him around the cage now with those hooks. Kapinski still very much in the game, though. 
and you have to give him credit for that. He's not wilted under this no. pressure from Carl Suwabi. Suwabi perhaps turning it up a little bit now. Yeah, Suwabi landed right with a nice body shot, then an uppercut. Just uh, mixing in different strikes now, making Kapinski think even more. He's so fast with snapping that left hand up, almost from the knee sometimes. Yeah, lightning quick, and not for the first time tonight we've seen a, a very talented fighter from uh, showing the strikes again, just showing how the sport's continuously changing. Well, now I, I would like to see maybe Swabi just put on the back foot, maybe uh, against uh, maybe a more confident grappler. Especially, maybe that doesn't exist at this level, um, but it certainly is entertaining to see somebody so confident and so aware as he almost goes for the uh, a show Steeler move right there. And again, oh, beautiful foot kick there from Castle after a bit of ballerina action in the middle of the cage. Yeah. Just letting everybody know it's all about him. Definitely, definitely. Hey. Great stuff there from these two amateur featherweights. Nothing really to complain about for Tom Kapinski. He didn't really do anything wrong in that fight, but Carl Sawabi really put his mark on it. He was so aggressive, so exciting, so much pressure. I'm sure we're going to be able to see some of that action now as we look to the replays. Nice two-punch combination followed by a kick, forcing his man to shoot, but the hands were nice and low. He stops the shot. Great stuff from Carl Sawabi. Yeah, and again, really, just repeat him the first two rounds. There's some variation as well in uh, Suave's attack. Striking, look at that, an uppercut. When did you see that in MMA at this level anyway? And again, Askik again rocks him. But full credit in a way to Thomas Kapinski. Um, after uh, a first round where he was clearly hurt, he done very well, but wasn't particularly phased by Suave's very aggressive and varied uh, st stand-up attack. And after three rounds of action, we've had to go to the judges' scorecards. For your winner by unanimous decision, in the blue corner, Carl Suhabi!